Yes, my name is Melody. My last name is Marin, and I'm a chiropractor, retired. So before you mentioned that you've done some activist work, can you tell us specifically what kind of activism you do um, in, in the community? Well, thank you for asking that question. Um, I did say that because pretty much as a chiropractor, you, you stand against vaccines by our philosophy. It's not necessarily true. We have the political freedom to say whether we want to vaccinate or we don't want to vaccinate. But by our, our philosophy, our chiropractic philosophy, we don't believe um, in chemicals. We believe that the body has an innate intelligence, which is uh, just the word we use for something you would recognize. Your cells produce uh, bone matter until they stop growing and they know when to turn off. So politically, actively speaking, um, I'm out there just speaking my voice. Um, I'm not hesitant. I don't want to be called one of those vaccine hesitant. I'm not hesitant. I'm just open about my experience with healthcare, what that means to me. And it certainly doesn't mean injecting bodies with really toxic chemicals. And I'm open to say that. So I call myself a political activist by virtue of my career. What are the, um, the toxins that you're referring to and why are they bad for the body? Could you just explain that to me? Really quick? Well, I think that's another good question. I think it's a source of a lot of confusion for people. Um, allopathic medicine or chemically based medicine based on the germ theory has been around a short time compared to homeopathic medicine and natural medicine, which is what it was before. And the idea of taking um, a toxic element and diluting it and introducing it to the body so the body can get familiar with it and make its antibodies, I don't want to get too complicated, but deal with the foreign agent. Because that's what our bodies do. They deal with foreign agents. That idea is actually not a bad idea. But what is too much? So... California is one of the harshest states about laws about having to be vaccinated to go to school. Um, I know that you think that um, it's a, um, sorry, like a social issue, or not a social issue. Um, human rights issue. A human rights issue, right. Can you also. talk a little bit um, about that too and about what you're trying to do to help um, and get these kids to allow to be in school and not just homeschooled, so they actually have a choice? There's a lot of power behind that mandate, but only in terms of, okay, now you can't put your child in school. Well, that's no problem. There's, we have options. Um, it's more inconvenient. They'll probably get the vaccine rate to rise to the 95% that they're looking for, and they did here in California. So more people now are vaccinating, which hopefully well, that was their agenda. But if it's more than that, if it's to actually mandate, um, the, the problem with that is that it becomes a, 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 a real human rights issue because they can squeeze more. They can say, okay, you can't get a driver's license. And we're being threatened with that. Or now they're going to make um, air flight by passport only which is paving the road to say, okay, if you don't have your vaccines, then you can't travel. So if you want your kid to go to college and you've homeschooled them and they've never been vaccinated, oh, well now they have to be vaccinated because it's a public place. And they're already using that in hospitals and daycares. So we see the writing on the wall and we feel those walls squeezing in around us and limiting our freedoms a lot. So if it gets to the point where now you can't move because you're so squeezed in, you have to ask, you, it begs the question, in order to enforce mandatory vaccines, what are they willing to do? So for new mothers that are making the choice of whether they should vaccinate or not, where do you recommend that they look for information that they know that they can trust and that they feel safe um, reading and understanding? I'm going to give you a very holistic answer. And I'm going to say trust your gut. Start with trust your instincts first. 
Because what are we talking about? We're talking about the life that's going to come through you, that you're, you're tasked to protect. And if there's a question out there, because there's a debate, that's enough to trigger your instincts as a mother to say, let me, let me look. 